Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever it is where you are. Uh, I hope you're well. Uh, welcome to the channel. If you're new, uh, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Nice to see you again. So, my name is Corinne and I'm the Golfing Princess and this is our uh, little review section. So, if you've seen the channel, there's a few different areas and a few different playlists and, you know, there's golfing with people, there's golfing on my own, there's golfing with Neil, there's the Saturday Night Lives, there's the Daily Coffee Mornings. And there's also a review section, which um, there's not much in it, but every time I get something where I think it would be useful for you to know about, I will do a, re a review on it. I can't even say the word. Review on it. So, for the last, well, since we started doing the filming on the channel, we've just been using uh, the Boya microphone, which is got the, the big... Do you know what? I'll get it for you. It'll be far easier. This is how unprepared I am. So, well, I am prepared actually. So this is what we used to use. So it's just a, that goes on the camera, that goes onto it, and that plugs into your camera. That's on, if it's windy, and if it's not windy, there's your microphone. It's, it's all right, it's, it's served a purpose, it's, it's done its job. It's, when it gets really windy, it, you do still get some noise, um, I'm not gonna lie, but it's, it's not a bad microphone, you know, it's, Picks us both up when we're talking. Um, it's a lot better than the standard microphone on the camera, so it's definitely an improvement. However, as we've progressed, uh, we decided that we thought it might be a good idea to invest in wireless mics. Because quite often, certainly in the minute, we're on opposite sides of the fairways. And to save, excuse me, to save having to um, run backwards and forwards with the camera, um, with the wireless ones, at least it can zoom into wherever the other person is and you can still hear them. So I was look, reviewing a different, well, looking at a few different ones and I was speaking to Golf Nuts, aka Lee Jones. If you've not checked out his channel, go and have a look at it. It's Golf Nuts. I will put a little tag up here as well. Uh, but he uses KNF Concept uh, microphone, wireless microphone. He uses the single one, this is just a single mic. Um, and he, you know, he said it was a decent microphone, so I thought, I wonder if we could get it in a dual, with two microphones, which you can. And here, here it is. So, um, the main features, I'll just tell you what it says on the box first. The main features, professional recording quality with wide frequency response, professional low cut and mixing function, real-time fold-back interface for monitoring the recording effects, Separate control for monitoring and recording output volume with memory function. Acoustic technology for environmental noise cancellation is adopted to, res to restrain environmental noise and wind. Integrated high performance audio compressor expander which can withstand high sound pressure level with dynamic feature and keep fidelity. Up to, a that, uh, up to 100 wireless frequencies available. 50 signal channels can work at the same time. And Illumin is used as housing to enable excellent shielding performance and mechanical strength. Now I'm not going to lie, a lot of that means nothing to me. I just want it that's going to um, hear us when we're talking and we don't have to be right next to the camera. That's the top and bottom of it. So there's, it gives you on the back the technical parameters, the different frequencies. It's an FM modulation mode. Um, it's an omnidirectional microphone, I can't even speak. Um, and it's very lightweight, it's 210 grams, so it's very, very lightweight. Anyway, I'm sure you're not really interested in this. Let's get into the box and see what's in there. Well, I say get into the box. I've got it all out already. So let's just have a look and see what's in there. So I will just see what other paperwork comes inside the box, because I've had it a couple of weeks now. So um, it does come in a very, very nice um, case that's... Got like your little, can't even get into it. There we go, magnetic front. Nice display case, there's your book about it. And inside we've got, I'll go into those in a minute. This is just the box that with all the wires that came in and everything sits nicely in the, in the packaging. So very nice packaging, very secure. It's not going anywhere. Now, I did look at the, the book 
and I'll be honest, it's not great at actually telling you what you need to know. It tells you about different channel adjustments and different functions, which is fine if you need to change channels. But what I needed to know was how do I just turn it on, how do I get it to work? And essentially all you do is you turn them on. And if, as long as the receiver and the transmitter are both on channel A or both on channel B, it'll work. That's, that's the top and bottom of it. So inside we've got the receiver, which is this uh, little do for here. So this goes on top of the camera and this plugs into the microphone uh, on the camera. You can kind of like direction these where you need them and I just keep them straight. I don't really know what they're for, if I'm honest. And then once you've turned them on, the little button there, turn it on, press and hold to turn it on. And it comes up there, it says it's on channel one. If you click set the set button, oh, I don't know what that does. You can change bands on it, you can change um, the, I think you can change the, the, the receiver volume as well. I've got mine set up to 10, up to maximum, and I've had that since I, since I actually bought it. So you'll see on the footage that I'm going to show you in a little while that it, it's, it's pretty decent. In fact, it may need to actually come down a little bit, but that's the receiver anyway. We get two of these, two of these little things. So these are your transmitters, and you obviously get two microphones. Now, when we've got the microphones, when Lee got his, he got the microphone on its own and he said you'll need to buy the windshield, the windscreen protector thing. So I bought two wind, wind protectors. The dual one comes with them. Don't buy them if you're going to buy this because it already comes with them. And they just kind of sit on there and then that will just kind of sit on there or wherever you want to put it. So. Again, this one, press and hold to turn on, and that will say, up the top there, number one. That's the channel it's on. So it's on channel one, and it's got different frequencies that you can change if you get a bit of interference or whatever. The only problem obviously is you're not going to hear if you've got interference until you download the data. So I think there's two ways I can show you how good or bad you might think these things are. And I think the easiest way is going to be for me to do an experiment. So if I just feed the wire down the back of my jumper, very technical, and I will just hook it to the top of my jumper there. plug it in and it's got a, a belt loop thing on it so that can just sit in my pocket or it can sit on my jeans whatever now hopefully you'll notice the difference in a minute because at the minute you're on the microphone on the on the camcorder so as I plug this in it should be a lot clearer because you'll then be coming through on the wireless mic what I'll do I'll then go for a walk around the house and see if you can still hear me so I'll obviously try and watch my P's and Q's because you will still be watching. It does come, by the way, with... Uh, I'll just show you, actually. It does come with the little shoe that plugs into the back of the camera. So you just clip that in and use these little metal things there to clip it onto. And then we should be... Anyway, good to go. So, all right, three, two, one. Right, we're now on the wireless mic, or we should be on the wireless mic. So, obviously, I can't hear if you can hear any difference until I watch this back and do the editing, but hopefully, you can hear it a little bit clearer. Um, but I will now go for a walk around the house. Come back and you should still be able to hear me so keep watching
because I haven't disappeared I am still here I'm now walking up the stairs the only thing you do have to be careful of this and maybe that's why I need to turn the receiver down slightly is you can hear your breathing and you get quite conscious of listening to your breathing through through the playback so maybe that's what I need to do is just look at the um, the setting for that and have a bit of a play around with that so I've just come to the front bedroom of the house I'm just going to walk back down the stairs hopefully you can still hear me loud and clear and no this is not a voiceover trick this is genuinely the wireless mic and this is where I sound really out of breath now from walking down the stairs I'm not that unfit I promise um, but there you go hopefully you still heard that and you can hear me walking around the house so I think it's a pretty decent mic to be fair and if anyone was looking out for um, a dual a two-person microphone wireless microphone set I would definitely recommend it I'm glad Lee recommended it to us so I would obviously pass on that recommendation to you guys I bought it from Amazon and at the time when I bought it it was £199 but say so you do get two mics I think Lee paid about £100 for, for one mic so it's you know it's nearly here and there really in, in, in comparative terms you know you get one mic for £100 two mics for £200 but no, what I'll do now is I'll show you some footage of um, on the course to show you Lee on the other side of the fairway and me with the camera so you can still hear him. In fact, the first time we used it, that'll be the first footage I show, I show you, he's rummaging away in his bag, not realising the microphone's picking everything up. So you do have to be a little bit careful about what you're saying, what you're doing, and then you get no bodily function noises that slip out and you don't realise because the microphone is going to hear everything but no, if you do, if you, do uh, you know, if you are looking in the market to get some definitely get some of these definitely, or certainly look into them and put them as an option because I would definitely buy them again 100% without a shadow of a doubt so if you liked it hit the like button um, if you don't subscribe hit subscribe um, and see what else is coming on the channel some more golfing uh, footage coming in the next week or two Back to two uh, two vlogs a week, Wednesdays and Sundays is the usual um, schedule time. Come back soon, hit share, hit like, and just enjoy the channel. Enjoy the channel, guys, and so, and don't forget. Uh, so don't forget. What you're going to see now is some footage on the course of both with the camera and away from it. So I'll catch you next time. Keep watching. One thing I did forget to mention is they take batteries, they take AA batteries. So on the side of it, there's like a little, you see the two little half moons. You click them together, pulls it out, and there's your two batteries. So there's two in this, two in the other one, and two in this. So you need six AA batteries to work this. It says it works for, I need to look this up, how many hours? It's something like, Eight hours, 80 hours. They last for a while anyway. It's, 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 and I'm sure it's something like 80 hours. I'm sure it's 80 hours. Somebody can probably correct me on this. It also does say, just to clarify, that the distance, the range is about 100 meters. So um, if you are out and about and you do happen to be across the other side of the fairway, they should pick up. Um, but obviously if there's something in case of shelter or under use, the distance will be reduced accordingly. So I'm guessing if there's a lot of things in, the, in between you, so like if there's like two houses between you, if I'm in the front garden, Neil's in the back garden, that house is going to affect the, uh, it's going to cause some interference. So the 100 metres is with nothing between you, pretty much. And the other, one other thing is there's a low cut on off button. Now the low cut is to significantly, significantly improve ambient low frequency and wind noise. If you turn it on to activate the function, turn it off to keep it off. I keep it on all the time because if I'm outdoors, if you do get a bit of wind, it, it'll cut it out. But there's just a few um, of other things just to kind of make a note of. 100 meter distance, AA batteries, and the low cut function, put it on to reduce your wind noise. 
Happy shopping! So Neil's gone to find his ball. Well, I tee off. That's not straight. And that's just fell off. Come on now. Right. Oh, we're off into the trees, all right, but... So, we'll just... I think gonna it's going to go that... I huh? think it's going to go that way. This is a funny one, this. Yeah. It's probably going to go straight, but... 